In this lecture, we will calculate the average power and RMS value of signal XT. Signal XT is equal to 2 sin 3t plus 3 cos 3t plus pi by 3. And if you remember the orthogonal signals lecture, we discussed four properties. And according to property number 2, if we have sine and cosine functions as the two signals with same frequencies and same phase differences, the two signals are orthogonal. But in this case, we have different phase differences. Frequencies are same, but phase differences are different. We have the same frequencies, but phase differences are not same. And to check whether other properties are applicable in this case or not, I will modify signal xt. I will modify signal xt to sine 3t plus 3 sine 3t plus pi by 3 plus pi by 2. We know sine theta, we know sine theta plus pi by 2 is equal to cos theta and by using this we can write the second signal like this. And from the first property, if we have same harmonics with different frequencies, the two signals are orthogonal. But here we have same harmonics but frequencies are also same. So again the two signals are not orthogonal and we can say that signal xt is not composed of two orthogonal signals. Now how we can find the average power and RMS value in this case? Let's try to understand the process. First signal is a1 sin omega naught t plus phi1 and the second signal is a2 sin omega naught t plus phi2 and the sum of two signals is equal to signal xt and we can write signal xt as a naught sin omega naught t plus phi this is the resultant signal after adding these two sine functions we already know when signal xt is equal to a naught sine omega naught t plus phi the average power p is equal to a naught square by 2 so we only have to find out a naught square we can easily find out the average power and a naught a naught is equal to under root a1 square plus a2 square plus twice of a1 a2 cos phi1 minus phi2 by using this formula we can easily calculate a0 I will explain how we got this result at the end of this lecture but first we will calculate the average power p and RMS value if you see the problem you will find a1 is equal to 2 and a2 is equal to 3 a1 is equal to 2 and a2 is equal to 3 phi1 is equal to 0 and phi2 is equal to pi by 3 plus pi by 2 which is equal to 5 pi by 6 now I will put these values in this equation a0 square is equal to 2 square plus 3 square 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 cos 0 minus 5 pi by 6 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12 cos 0 minus 5 pi by 6 is cos minus 5 pi by 6 and cos minus theta is equal to cos theta therefore we have cos 5 pi by 6 13 plus 12 cos 5 pi by 6 is equal to minus 0 0.866 when you solve this you will have 2.607 as the value of a naught square therefore average power p is equal to 2.607 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.303 watts this is the answer and the rms value is equal to under root average power p so under root 1.303 which is equal to 1.414 
so this is how you have to use this formula to find out average power and rms value now we will try to obtain this important result the frequencies of two sine functions are same frequencies are same but the phase differences are not same phase differences are not same a not sine alpha plus phi is the resultant signal and we have to find out a not so let's try to obtain a not this equation is equation number one we know sine alpha sine alpha plus phi one is equal to sine alpha cos phi one plus cos alpha sine phi one in the same way we will find out sine alpha plus phi two and sine alpha plus phi after this we will put this values in equation number one so we have a one inside the bracket sine alpha cos phi one plus cos alpha sine phi one plus a two inside the bracket sine alpha cos phi two plus cos alpha sine phi two equal to equal to a not inside the bracket sine alpha cos phi plus cos alpha sine phi now i will take sine alpha and cos alpha common so in next step we have sine alpha inside the bracket a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos phi 2 plus cos alpha inside the bracket a1 sin phi 1 plus a2 sin phi 2 equal to equal to a not sin alpha cos phi plus a not cos alpha sin phi on comparing the left hand side and the right hand side we have we have a1 a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos phi 2 equal to a not cos phi and a1 sin phi 1 plus a2 sin phi 2 equal to a not sin phi now we will square both the sides and add these two equations it will give us a1 square plus a2 square plus twice of a1 a2 inside the bracket cos phi 1 cos phi 2 plus sin phi 1 sin phi 2 equal to a not square inside the bracket cos square phi plus sin square phi cos square phi plus sin square phi is equal to 1 so we have we have a1 square plus a2 square plus twice of a1 a2 cos phi 1 cos phi 2 plus sin phi 1 sin phi 2 is equal to cos phi 1 minus phi 2 and on the right hand side we have a not square and you can see we have the same result as used in the above problem i hope this solution is clear to you if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one